and we are once again with Konosuba Fantastic Days. Today we are here doing the brand new event, Griffin Tack, the mind reading devil's concern. So seems like it's going to be a veneer event, or at least he'll be a part of it. And we'll probably get a free-to-play card of Veneer. Lovely. The Mind Reading Devil's Concern, Part 1. Just as I thought, the dungeon was far from ideal. Then I should investigate over there next. Excuse me. Oh. Where is Wiz? So, this is a very unlikely duo. So, if they do go on a quest with the Konosuba crew, or at least with e just each other, then that's going to be kind of interesting. We'll see how their dynamic is. Welcome, Crimson Demon Girl. Seeing as how you're looking for the pitiful shopkeeper, I'm guessing you're in need of a source for your novel. I'm guessing using Wiz as a inspiration for the novel, I would guess. Like, why would she just look for Wiz in general? Unless she wants to hear some stories or probably want to base a character off Wiz. Aru probably want to write about a busty lich with ice powers and undead powers and stuff like that. Mm, trying to think, what else does Wiz have? Mm, probably a crybaby lich? I don't know. You're incredible as expected. I am looking for a stimulus because I got stuck while writing something new. Hmm. Hmm. Getting your mind off it might help you. Could it be that you also have some concerns? And that's where the devil's concerns come from. The name of the events. Could it be that the memories of your past life suddenly came back and found out you were destined to kill the love of your life? What a wild imagination she has. But I don't know how demons in Konosuba are created, if they are humans at some point, or if they're just created as demons. So I'm kind of interested in that, but he was probably created as a demon. Probably doesn't have any human origins. Do not try to influence your comical clan's traits on me. I'm stuck on trying to make the ideal dungeon. Maybe it's because I'm focused on managing a declining shop, but I can't come up with a good idea. I'm surprised even a former Devil King's army commander has concerns. I feel like this isn't right. I feel they forgot that he's a Devil King's army general. Unless they use commander and general interchangeably. I feel like the series is pretty consistent with calling these guys Devil King's generals. Or possibly Devil King's army general. Like just general is always in their name. Because I feel like this is the first time they're using Commander. And so, I feel like this is a mistranslation from the sub-team. And they just put Commander because it was close enough to the kanji or whatever that they were reading. It's not that surprising. Hmm. hmm. I have an offer. Would you be interested in a forbidden treasure stained with blood? And he knows exactly how to play the Crimson Demons. Make it sound as interesting as possible. A forbidden treasure stained with blood. A few days later... 
such an ominous mood. It makes my heart pound. But are you sure you'll be okay with it? You just found the dungeon. It doesn't matter. I want to see what kind of strategy you will come up with more than the treasure. Okay, I was a little confused by this sentence. He wants to see what kind of strategy she will come up with more than he cares about the treasure. That's kind of weird, the last part. Come up with more than the treasure. Like, he should just say, I care more about the strategy. Instead of saying, I want to see what kind of strategy you come up with. Like, that feels like it would translate a little better, make the sentence a little smoother. Try your best. I will be looking forward to it. Although, I got a bad feeling as soon as Veneer started looking forward to it. But, a bloodstained treasure does sound fun. Okay, so, he invited all the Crimson Demons. Or, possibly, he told Aru about the quest. And then she invited all her friends. I wonder if Dondodoko and Funifora are also here, or if it's just these two. Like her closest friends. Uh, I felt stranger the deeper we went into the forest. But this was it. I thought we were going shopping together. Aw, poor Yunyun. We did go shopping for items needed for the dungeon. You should be satisfied with that. Okay, I feel like they're missing a word or two here. You should satisfied with that. I think it should be, you should be satisfied with that. So this kind of tripped me up a little bit. I need you, Yun Yun. Please, help me out. Yeah, she needs an actual capable fighter. I'm not sure... Veneer's going to help out that much. I think he's more just wanting to watch. And Megamin is not a capable fighter at all, considering the one spell she knows. And that could basically destroy them if they're inside the dungeon. <laughs> really? You need me? I was already looking for some new ideas today. So I would like you guys to be the model for my protagonist. I want to ask you since I can trust you. Would you be okay with that? Well, I guess I have no choice. It's going to be fun looking for the treasure together. You're still quite simple. I don't know about Union, but please write about my performance as awesome as it looks. Of course. Should we get going? I will get the treasure even if it costs me my life. <laughs> wow! Why is the boulder suddenly rolling toward us? Because they triggered a trap. Like, why else? Stop complaining and hide over there! Sigh. I really thought we were done for. Huh? What was that noise just now? Ah! This time, a boulder is falling from above! Like, I'm just blown back by how bad these guys are. I mean, I guess this is just for comedic effect. But, it seems to be giving them just as much bad luck as Aqua. But also, you would had to have seen like a giant hole or a giant boulder hiding above wherever that trap was. Because there's no way they could have hid the boulder up there and then just fall down without it being noticeable. Mwahaha! This disappointment, this discouragement, 
Your despair isn't so bad. I guess this is what he needs to cheer up his mood to see their bad feelings and just kind of eat those up. Look, <laughs> just as I expected, the treasure like the Tear of the Angel sealed within Paradise Lost isn't so easy to get. Huh? Didn't you say it was stained with blood? <laughs> Treasure changes their appearance based on the hearts of those who desire them. But the more dangerous it is, the more the blood in my body boils. I don't feel that way. I want to end it as soon as possible and go back. What are you talking about when you've come all the way to the dungeon where the treasure of our dreams are sleeping within? You won't be able to become a chief that way. I really do wonder, how does their chief system work? Is it literally just familial? So, means if your father or mother is the chief, does that mean the children are always going to become the chief? Or is it like an election or something like that? Because everyone keeps saying that Yin Yin's gonna become the chief. And are they just saying that because like she is definitely wanting to become the chief. But she has to do an election or something like that to hopefully get votes. Or is it just guaranteed that she is gonna become the chief? A girl with the unwanted destiny of becoming a chief. But from a tragedy, another personality was born. Stop it! Do not even imagine a sad past for me! A new personality will not be born! How long are you going to be bickering? Hurry up and go forth! Like, see, he is just watching. Like, if they were actually just bickering and not the head explorers of the mission he would be doing everything but he's just wanting to see how they react <laughs> all right <laughs> i'm so excited to see what will be waiting for us ahead all right earn tickets so, I need to... Yep, I gotta go on fame quest, and I gotta go on regular quest. Give me a second to get some extra tickets. Alright, I think we have enough tickets. So, let's see about this. 15, and it needs fire. Don't ask again. But kind of a weird place to end. Like, we didn't even get to see the griffin. I don't know if this is a two or three part event. We'll see. They have been doing a lot more three part events as of late, but... Who knows. Could be slightly different. Alright. Can play this one. Now we need to defeat the hard. 200. But yeah, so far this event is not seeming that interesting. I mean, I want Veneer to like react more to whatever's going on in the dungeon but it seems like he already knows about this dungeon like all the traps and everything so nothing is gonna surprise him because he's not in danger at all like the girls are the only people in danger and even then i really don't think he'll let them die like he wants them to be scared disappointed like all those bad emotions 
But I don't think he'd let anything bad happen to them. For one, because I really do think they are friends. And second, it's like he probably would want to use them for like future endeavors. Like he's just using them to get over his boredness right now. Damn, with only two seconds left. Oh my god. Barely. Holy. Yep, we barely beat him. Alright, we already get the picture. So let's just go check it out real quickly and just make sure there's not part three. Okay, it's only part two. So let's just do this one and see how hard this is. 19,500 power. And I am at 41,000 power. Let's see if this takes two or three attempts. But yeah, I just want more veneer interactions with them. Like, if it's just Crimson Demon banter, then I mean, that's okay, but it feels like a very missed opportunity. Since we do see a lot of Crimson Demons talking, considering that's what the main story is right now, and usually inside events, they are. <laughs> like a lot of the main characters in the story events. Damn! Ah, he almost got the heal. Almost got the heal, Leah. Ah. Come on, at least get over 50. We need that, please. Damn. What is that, 47? Damn, we may need to actually do three. And plus, it's a real shame to me because Veneer is one of my favorite characters. His suave nature of being... Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what his quote is, but... The Archbishop of Hell? Or something of that nature? Like, I, I really like what they did with him in Season 3 of the anime. It's like he wasn't very prominent at all in the season, but he was making back deals in the end to help out his friend. Damn, he actually took out Kazuma. Ah, I wasn't even paying attention. Like, he, he was just helping Kazuma a bit. Just wanting him to do some stuff that you would think is just, he wants some money. Or he's gonna use the favor for Kazuma later. But it's like, no, he uses the information he learns from Kazuma. And... Like, whatever Kazuma's plan is to then help set Max free. Which, it is kind of a noble thing. He is rescuing a friend that is trapped in a bad deal. So I do find that kind of cool. That he is loyal to his other demon friends. Yeah. 
Like, dang! That time he was really doing a lot of damage. Like, was he doing a lot of AoE attacks? Alright, so there was nothing behind Expert. Hmm, this dungeon. It's not bad. I'll consider it later. So he's considering wanting this dungeon. The Mind Reading Devil's Concern, Part 2. It looks like we're finally in the deepest part. The treasure is here. I don't know. Let's hope so. It was quite the journey. I was afraid of what we were going to do when Yunyun mistook the stone statue for a friend and had a fun chat with it. Why would she be afraid of that? Like, unless the statue was a trap, then it would kind of be understandable why she was afraid. But I guess she thought Yunyun went insane? That was quite a moving scene on its own. I definitely branded it with these eyes. You saw it? Wait, how long have you been watching? What do you mean, how long? Obviously, from the start. Wait, Union, stop! My clothes are going to stretch! Forget it! Forget all about it! Let me go! Seriously! So, how are we supposed to open that giant door? Hmm. There is a significant stone tablet next to it. Something is written on it. It says, when a fierce gatekeeper falls into an eternal sleep, the treasure will reveal itself. Through a truly beautiful posture, it will fall asleep. What a heart-pounding sentence. Could that fierce gatekeeper be... Wow. No sound effect, no RAR for it? <laughs> Why is it just chilling here? Why is the griffin not attacking? Or are they like looking all the way down the hall and they see it? Just relaxing. As like, oh, we gotta kill that thing. It's probably talking about that monster inside. You know, what you have to do, right? A beautiful posture. Then we just have to show them an awesome pose. That looks hard. I'm not sure I can do it. How can a crimson demon say that? I will show you a demonstration. My name is Megamin, an arch wizard, and the one who will capture the entire world with an awesome pose someday. You don't have to introduce yourself. Yeah, weird. I guess the griffin is just missing all its sound effects. I have never seen this from this game where they just forget sound effects. Or maybe the griffin is just glitched on this cutscene. It's angry. I don't think it liked it. I can't believe it can't grasp its head around it. It still has a long way to go. It's my turn next. My name is Aru, the one with the Crimson Demon's finest body. And who will become an author soon. I don't think it works. Well, I thought it was okay. <laughs> but Aru doesn't care what Yunyun thinks. They wanted the griffin to think it was cool. 
But yeah, I can't believe the Griffin was angry at Mega Means and it's just sort of uncaring with a ruse introduction or pose. I don't need your comforting words. Friendliness isn't the only thing that can save people. What does that mean? What did she want? Like, I understand she doesn't want words of compassion, but what is the emotion that she wants to help save her? That was great, Aru, or something of that nature. Like, genuine being like, yeah, that was an awesome introduction, instead of someone saying, ah, that, that's a nice introduction. I kind of liked it. You know, the difference between that and being, like, just friendly and actually... You know, telling her you love her pose. <gasps> what? Then I will try once more. I will let this monster have it with a new pose. Goodness. I'm wasting my time if I leave it up to such a pathetic clan. Look closely. It's a unique, yet nostalgic pose. You have bested me. Interesting. I'm trying to remember. Did Veneer, like, make poses in his first introduction episode? Because I don't remember Veneer being a big pose guy. But yet I do feel like I have seen this from him. I do know he makes poses when he's kind of doing his death ray and other attacks. <laughs> and so it is kind of funny to see. It's like it took him the first try to ace this test and have a super good pose. Yeah, so it's interesting. He puts one arm under his other arm. And his left arm is going on his face. Like, he's trying to hold back something on his face. Like, I'm trying to hold back this unbelievable power that I have. So, he looks elegant, but also looks powerful. I also like how it's just shining behind him. Being like, hallelujah. The best pose ever. Also, there's Megamine being like, damn it! Why didn't I think of that? Such a good pose. Hmm. This is what a beautiful posture looks like. Ugh. Well, it wasn't bad, but I wonder if it will work. Snore, snore. What? My pose was more incredible! That monster doesn't know what incredible is! Also, I thought they were gonna have to kill it, but I guess... Their poses had to put it to sleep? Kinda weird. So, I guess a ruse was much closer. Like, if it was just being neutral slash uncaring, then I guess it was slightly more sleepy. Than just being angry at Megamines. It's a pose that even puts monsters to sleep. Even my creative urge was stimulated. Why do you have such a satisfied expression? Aren't you going to open the treasure chest beyond the door? This monster was protecting it. We should open it before it wakes up. Oh no! I'm going to be the first one to obtain the rumored treasure! Kia! What's going on? It's empty! Mwahahaha! Great! This frustration is just as I expected. The thing at the end of overcoming all kinds of traps is empty. It's like a life. So, with all the troubles and tribulation, 
sometimes life is worth nothing at the end. Is that what she's getting at? <laughs> Truly a fine preference. <laughs> this means all my hard work. Wait, what is it this time? But yeah, I kind of like how they were bonding in the end. Even though he put her through all that work, Aru was like, that is actually a great saying at the very end. It's like, hmm, I could use that. <laughs> and the cheeky bastard Veneer was like, that was very satisfying. I enjoyed that. And she took away that saying from him. So I like that kind of bonding moment. Eek! The dungeon is starting to cave! Come to think of it, there was a small click when I opened the chest. Could that have been the sound of a switch? Ugh. What a mess. And damn, they were adventuring all day where it's like now nighttime. But I think there was some delay until it collapsed. Maybe they calculated the escape time. They might have. Although, I won't be able to use it anymore since it's already caved in. It wasn't a bad dungeon. That's right. It was really a great experience. This might have been the true treasure. Why are you trying to wrap this up with some common lesson? In the end, Union and I didn't get anything! As sometimes creative as Aru can be, sometimes she can also be corny in being like, the true treasure was the friends we made along the way, or the treasure was the journey, not the destination. Like, come on, Aru, please, you can be better than that. Why did we come to a place like this? <laughs> the negative emotion of frustration. Thank you. Afterward, Aru wrote a new novel about striving for beautiful poses, and it became quite the talk of the town. But what does that mean, the talk of the town? Like in the Crimson Demon Village? In Axel? Or around the world? <laughs> now, obtain the forbidden treasure stained with blood. I do wonder, did Veneer set up this dungeon? Like, he seemed to be pretty confident that nothing was in here. And so that makes me think that he set it up. Or maybe he had a friend set it up for him. But overall, I think that event was kind of nice. Like, once again, it wasn't the funniest event ever. There were some moments from Veneer and Aru that were nice. The Crimson Demons, I mean, that's alright. Like, dynamic. I feel like we see them quite often that's not really that special anymore. Like, Union had that little funny moment with the statue, but aside from that, nothing was too amazing. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Konosuba Fantastic Days, Griffin Tack, the mind reading devil's concern. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias, like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok, my Kick, Rumble, Odyssey, and Daily Motion. Check out my second YouTube channel, and like and comment on all my videos, and even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with anything I choose to do or my streams videos or anything else. We have to see you guys next time. Bye.